Welcome to the Travel and Adventure Guru. In this video, we'll be talking about the perfect four-day itinerary for the history-loving traveler. Let's jump right in. Day 1. Welcome to Berlin. Start off your trip by immersing yourself in the city's rich history. Begin at the Brandenburg Gate. The Brandenburg Gate is a famous landmark in Berlin, Germany, and one of the most well-known symbols of the city. It is a neoclassical triumphal arch that has and was commissioned by King Frederick Wilhelm II of Persia as a sign of peace following the end of the Seven Years' War in 1778. The gate is located at the western end of the Unter den Linden, a historic boulevard in Mitte district of Berlin. It stands at the beginning of the street which leads directly to the palace of the Prussian monarchs. During the Cold War, the Brandenburg Gate was located just a few hundred meters from the Berlin Wall, which divided East and West Berlin. It became a symbol of the city's division and a site for political demonstrations. After the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, the Brandenburg Gate became a symbol of unity and has since been restored to its original glory. Today, the Brandenburg Gate is a popular tourist attraction and a popular backdrop for events and celebrations. It is also home to the Quadriga, a sculpture of the chariot drawn by four horses that sits atop the gate. The Quadriga was designed by Johann Gottfried, Shadow, and is a symbol of victory and peace. From there, make your way to the Holocaust Memorial, a somber but important reminder of the atrocities committed during the World War II. Afterwards, take a stroll through the beautiful Tiergarten Park where you can relax. Tiergarten is a large public park located in the center of Berlin, Germany. It covers an area of over 210 hectares and is home to a wide variety of plant and animal life. One of the most iconic features of Tiergarten is the Victory Column, a towering monument that was built to celebrate Prussia's victories in the 19th century. The column is located at the highest point of the park, offering stunning views of the surrounding city. Other notable landmarks within the park include the Berlin Zoo, the German Bundestag, and the Brandenburg Gate. In addition to its cultural and historical significance, Tiergarten is a popular recreational destination for both locals and tourists. The park is home to numerous walking and biking paths, as well as several bodies of water, making it a great place to relax and enjoy nature. During the warmer months, the park is also home to various outdoor events and festivals, such as concerts, food markets, and sporting events. Overall, Tiergarten is an essential part of Berlin's history and culture, and is a must-visit destination for anyone visiting the city. In the evening, head to the trendy district of Neukölln for dinner at any one of the many international restaurants. Day 2 Today, delve into Berlin's fascinating Cold War history by visiting the Berlin Wall and Checkpoint Charlie. The Berlin Wall was a physical barrier that divided the city of Berlin, Germany into East Berlin and West Berlin during the Cold War. It was constructed by the German Democratic Republic in 1961 and stood until 1989, when it was finally torn down. The Berlin Wall was more than just a wall. It was a complex system of walls, fences and guard towers that encircled West Berlin and prevented East Germans from fleeing to the West. It was also heavily guarded by the East German military and equipped with various security measures such as electric fences and landmines to prevent people from attempting to escape. The Berlin Wall became a symbol of the Cold War and the division of Europe, and its fall in 1989 marked the end of the Cold War and reunification of Germany. Today it is remembered as a symbol of hope and freedom, and its remnants can still be seen throughout the city of Berlin. The East Side Gallery, a stretch of the Berlin Wall that was and has been turned into an open-air museum filled with colorful murals and street art, is a popular tourist attraction and a testament to the power of art and creativity to bring people together. In the afternoon, take a break from history and visit the bustling Kurfürstendamm shopping street. Here you'll find a wide range of high-end stores and boutique shops to browse. Day 3. Spend the day exploring the city's vibrant arts and culture scene. Start at the world-renowned Berliner Philharmonie, where you can catch a classical music performance. Afterwards, head to the East Side Gallery, a stretch of the Berlin Wall that has been turned into an open-air museum filled with colorful murals and street art. In the evening, head to the trendy neighborhood of Mitte for dinner at one of the many trendy restaurants, followed by a night out at one of Berlin's famous clubs. Day 4 on your final day in Berlin, take a trip to the stunning Potsdamer Platz, a modern shopping and entertainment complex. Here you'll find a wide range of restaurants, theaters, and cinemas to choose from. In the afternoon, visit the Brandenburg Gate once again. This time, take in the breathtaking view from the top of the gate's observation deck. Finish off your trip with a farewell dinner at a traditional German restaurant, where you can sample some of the country's famous cuisine. 
And there you have it, the perfect four-day itinerary for a history-loving traveler in Berlin. Enjoy your trip. We thank you for watching this episode of the Travel and Adventure Guru. For more videos like this, please make sure to like the video and hit subscribe. See you on the next adventure!